Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing Party Arcade. So this was developed and published by Farsight Studios. I believe it's 1599. First time in a while I'm going to uh, ask if anyone wants to play a game of Cornhole and get away with it. So, Cornhole, that is the question. Just wide on the corner all there. ETA 87. As you can see, apart from that one which I totally underthrew, you uh, adjust the power holding down the right stick. But what like I said, once you see, once you get that sweet spot, you uh, pretty much have it nailed down. Two is probably a bit over the top. Seventy-eight's two, not on half. Eighty-six. There you go. Achievement unlocked. Your corny. Score fifty points in cornhole. Easy as that. This game. Uh, already got a couple of achievements because I was doing the uh, multiplayer billiards one thousand tickets you get straight off the bat so you complete a challenge 301 in darts bokeh ball hoop shot billiards puck bowling skill ball the two that are going to take you a while are those two but let's dive straight into another game. Not all of them have achievements, but we all like a bit of hoop shot, don't we, so we'll give that. In the day, it's a bit like playing at the arcade, you know, once you get into a set rhythm, you can uh, power through the scoring, so I guess it's authentic in that way. You know, if you're throwing under the power, you're not going to get it, simple as that. If you throw exactly what you need to throw, you'll be dunking them every time. Go nothing but net. Fifty in hoop shot. Skill ball. I literally got the thousand on this yesterday, and this is the one that actually took me the longest. But again, once you once you find the set area, you know you, you're gonna get it. From what I did, you just have to find the right angle here, but as soon as you get the arrow lined up, whack it on a hundred, you will get it every time. There we go. He says, and then that. <laughs> There you go. I'd say that's probably the hardest one that I found from playing, but the great thing from an achievements perspective is, is once you know that spot, you're going to get it. Simple as that. Thank you. 
show you guys darts real quickly that's um the best one to do your challenges on Bit of a hash of that second one. What you just want to do is line it sort of about here. You got to throw that on. issue with my screen there. It's fun, it's a little varied, you know, it's just a game that screams local co-op, really. So I'm lucky I've got two Xboxes side by side, so when I did the billiards one, I could just play into the missus' Xbox, so... But this is not probably, I'd say, my favourite game on this one. Those who used to play um, bank shop billiards in the day. Which I really enjoyed. It used to be more arcadey ball games as opposed to. I find the serious stuff pretty, pretty boring if I'm perfectly honest. But, you know, I'd quite happily play a game with a couple of friends. Or, Couple of beers playing something like this. Ooh, I'm starting to pocket on that one. You know what? Still hitting hope on this one. Seems to work every time, you just. One always seems to go in when you do that, but. you're going to get. Oh, 
I go to the streak. No, all in all, it's a nice variety of games. Some you would play a bit more than others. I mean, I don't think I'll play Corn, however, again, to be honest. I always, uh, if we ever do go down the arcade, we always play a bit of skip, not skill ball, and uh, the other one anyway, little basketball game. Anything I would have liked to see in this, the old Glabbing Claw games. Always like playing them. Let's do uh, 210. Way under the bronze, but that was the achievement. Yeah, 50 points is so easy. Crap as I was there. Generally, pretty quickly to get the hand off. This game just doesn't want to give me strikes today. Oh. Playing and you get one. No, oh, I missed that one up. Do that. Second time lucky. There we go. There you go, 61 out of 70, I mean you don't even need the gold, I mean unless you want a golden thing you don't actually need anyway, so that's literally that. But there you have it guys, overall not a bad game, I mean I give it 6 or 7 out of 10, you know there's enough game there to keep you preoccupied, it's just um, whether you want to do the grind of getting the tickets or just cheating to buy them. Um, some of them are really quite good online, so I played a bit of air hockey, which was fun, and same with the billiards as well. I would definitely recommend getting it in a sale, but I wouldn't pay it full price. Anyway, thank you for uh, watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Peace.